The Queen Mary is used to such minor personalities as kings and presidents, so she can almost take in her stride that fabulous figure, Liberace, the well-known American leader of fashion, arriving at Southampton from the United States with his mother and, of course, brother George. By the way, Liberace also plays the piano. On the Queen Mary's deck, we asked the maestro if he had brought his whole family along for this three weeks tour of Britain. Almost. Uh, my mother, my brother George and his wife, and uh, my uh, arranger and his wife, our first violinist and his wife, my manager and his wife. And uh, we have still uh, another brother at home, a younger brother, and a sister who are sort of looking after the store while we're away. I see, <laughs> yes. Now about your music, what would you say yourself the effect of the Liberace music is uh, on America? Well, I feel uh, uh, very grateful to have the opportunity through the medium of television and motion pictures to uh, bring uh, uh, all kinds of music to the general public that otherwise would not be exposed to uh, classical music and therefore I, I try to acquaint them with it in small palatable doses until they acquire a taste for it and then when they do, which they have proven to do uh, during the past five years, I increase my dosage until they are ready to take the whole portion. On the platform at Southampton are one or two music lovers who just happen to be passing by on their way from London to London and thought they might as well make sure he knew which train to catch. The train is labelled Liberace Special, so fortunately, there's not much chance of a mistake. At Waterloo, Britain proves once again that she is a musical nation, deeply appreciative of culture in the widest sense. Not that Liberace likes undiluted admiration, he welcomes criticism. Though after one particularly harsh comment, he said, I was so upset I cried, all the way to the bank. Liberace's motto is, the public has a right to invade my privacy. So he learns his first lesson about Britain, that it's a country where the public loves to exercise its rights. <laughs> <laughs> 